Okay guys, it is Sunday and I am wishing every mother out there the best day ever. Happy Mother's Day to every mom. All right guys, I am pulling up to Aldi. I'm gonna tell you why in just a minute. I am on a mission and I think I can get it done. It is 11 a.m. Okay, so I listen to all the comments that you guys give me and I'm so appreciative. And first of all, thank you guys for subscribing and following and leaving comments. It's so motivational. It's just, it's nice. You have no idea and I'm so appreciative. But okay, so one of the comments was I was looking for a little mini fridge and someone said Aldi had them for like $49, $50. So I'm going to check in here. Now I have been checking every week and I usually come in on Wednesday or Thursday because of when they, that's when they change. So I'm coming back this week to see if they have one. And as tempting as it is to shop, that is not what I'm doing. My goal today is to go to every store I need to go to, pick up exactly what is on my list. I don't care how cheap something is or how good something looks or what type of clearance they have, I am sticking to it. This is the aisle I usually go down. Oh, wow. See, this is what I mean. $52.99, $34.99. I would love to have that, but that is not on my list. Cast iron. Oh my goodness. I do. Okay, stop. Stop and focus. Looking for a mini refrigerator. This is so incredibly tempting. Oh my goodness, everything. I mean, look at this, the bamboo steamer. I don't own one yet. And it's only $9.99. No, no, be good, be good. Oh my gosh, this Crofton porcelain pot is $26.99. When I go to places like um, uh, Old Time Pottery, and it's very heavy. Oh my goodness, it's awesome. They're more than this, I'm not gonna do it. I'm not gonna do it. I'm looking for a mini refrigerator. Okay, I've been in here for about 10 minutes. I need to get out. So, no refrigerator, $1.99 for chicken breast where I am still. So that's not a bad deal. And the chicken is looking a little bit better. All right, off to the next door. Okay, that wasn't 10 minutes. It was only eight. I'm off to a good start. My next stop is Sam's and gas is $3.81. This is gonna be a hard one, guys, but I can do it. Okay, another reason I am at this one is because I listen. There was some seasoning that I was looking at that looked so incredibly good. And a viewer said it was good on meat and vegetables. So that's what I'm going to get. And last time I forgot creamer and I need a bag of garlic. And there's still a few flowers left, if you forgot. These are so pretty. Kind of red pies either, $29.98. That's not bad at all. These are pretty. Okay, I am over in the seasoning aisle and it was this one. And the Italian herb is $5.98. Now normally if I was gonna try this on my own, I would only purchase one. But since a viewer said it was good, I'm gonna pick up two. Okay, my next step is going to be for creamer. It's really hard to see what's up there. So you know what? I will just look down each aisle. That's cereal, cereal, cereal. Oh, coffee, coffee, coffee. So it should be in this aisle. I can't believe I forgot to pick up the creamer last time. I always remember. And I found it right around the corner. Here we are, 13.86. Hee. Long ways from like eight bucks, but that's okay. I use this creamer. Okay, now I'm looking for fresh garlic. I've never picked this up before, but I've been cooking more. I don't want my food to taste good. I cannot believe I've been missing this all of these years. $9.98 for three pounds. I am so good with that. And look how beautiful that is. Fresh garlic. Hey guys, can you freeze this? I very seldom ask questions, but I need to know if you can freeze it. I know I can make garlic butter and put it in ice trays, but I wanna make sure I preserve this. Okay, I have just done my scan and go. It's $35 and some change. I'll show you that in just a bit, but while I am here, 
we're going to check out meat prices. Anytime you buy anything pre-made, of course it costs more. So let me head to regular items like chicken, turkey, beef. I even check out that grass-fed turkey. $13.94 for four pounds. Yeah, it's a little bit higher, but it looks good. All natural. Where's the price? Oh, oh my gosh, really? Oh, that's not bad. Oh, it's a three pack. That's why. Okay, that's better. $19.35 and it's $5.88 a pound. Okay, not so bad. And the kind that I normally get, this is the 90% lean, 10% fat. It's going up just a little bit, not a lot. It's $3.78 per pound. This is right at 10 pounds. So $37.12. Pretty well stocked here. We have quite a bit. And they're still in the back cutting more. The thing is, a lot of people are talking about shortages, and we might have shortages, I don't know. In our area, we're doing pretty good. I don't think we're gonna have much of a shortage. I think it's just gonna be to where we just can't afford it. So, but this right here isn't bad. This is a huge Boston butt, $15.80. Not bad, right? Okay, I'm wasting time. I'm heading out to store number three. Versus two. I don't know. I'll see. And walking out, I'm checking for a mini fridge. I see freezers. A lot of people are doing up right now. $299. But this seems relatively small. But my mom got hers like 10 years ago and it was like three times the size. But you know what? Things do go up. So no mini fridge that's affordable here. Okay, now off to the next store. Okay, I am leaving my Sam's and it's just 11.30. And at Costco. Oh, and there's a parking spot. Okay, a reason I'm here, again, I listen to you guys. Someone told me that animal crackers make, oh, mercy, traffic jam. All bugged up, let's see if I can zip through, we can. They told me that animal crackers made a great doggy treat. So I tried them and my dogs looked at me really, really funny the first time I gave them one. But you know what, in a pinch, They'll take them as a treat because of something different. I can't remember where those things are and this store is very new to me. Let me find them and I'll come right back. Found them and I am picking up two at $9.99. One for my doggies and one for a family member who absolutely loves these things. I'm still working on mine. It's gonna take a while to get through them. Okay guys, I lied. I am not going to get two because the doggies can share one with me. It's going to take me an awful long time to finish that one. So I'll just get the one. And I just ask. They don't have a scan and go. So let me go stand in line. I forgot to see what time it was when I started. Well, I just checked my phone and it's 1148. So still not bad. Okay, I just walked out of Costco. After tax, $9.11. Now the package that I got earlier, I did go ahead and vacuum seal some of them because the container is so big and I wanted them to stay fresh. All right, off to Walmart. I need a can of Rustolium paint for that shelf. It's 11.51. Okay, it's 12.01 and I had to make a quick pit stop. I'm at my local CVS because I have a $10 care pass that I need to use. And I also have a $6 off when I spend 30 store coupon I need to use. So if I spend $30, that's an automatic saving of 16. And if I buy things with coupons, woohoo. So it turns out the sales ad, like Walgreens is now online, but at least we get this one little page flyer. I'm gonna stick with the spend 40, get 10. Maybe, maybe not, I'm not sure, we're gonna see. Okay, so after a quick walk through the store, I realized there's not enough for me to come up with. 
$40 worth. This is a very small store, but I often shop this store because I do like it and I know the people here. However, userin does have spend 20, get $10 back and I do use userin. So I'm still gonna spend my 30. I'm gonna start off with the userin and pick up $20 worth. And I did forget the Aquaphor is also included in that deal. It doesn't look like they fully marked their stores yet, but that's okay because I can't see it on this one page flyer. They're both included. So both userin come to $22.48. I have a $3 off store coupon for spending 10 on hand lotion and a $2 off for any userin. That's going to take off an additional $5. Right now I'm standing at $22.45. I'm also going to purchase a Tide Pod. They're normally priced at $7.79. This week they're $5.49, still kind of high, but I do have a dollar digital. So I'm going to add that to my cart. Okay, two userin, $22.48, one Tide Pod. 549 and I have a one dollar digital okay and the last thing I'm gonna grab is gonna be the Tide Simply my mom loves this and it's priced at 699 but it's 349 through the 21st and there's a 50 cent coupon okay so I had to kind of hand scratch what I was gonna get so my total is gonna come to 3126 and I think I have 2250 in coupons let's head to check out Okay, I am back in my car and here is what I ran in to get. So I think I do pretty good. So I got the Tide Simply with a 50 cent off coupon, the Userins, and the Tide Pods. All my coupons came off the dollar for the Tide Pods, the 50 cent for the Tide Simply, the six off 30, the two off Userin Aquaphor, my $10 Care Pass, and 2% uh, back in extra bucks. Oh yeah, all those little penny things I used. So all those items, $11.42. And guess what? For spending 20 in Userin, I also got the $10 extra buck. So I'll just add that to my next month's Care Pass and have $20. Well, if it lasts that long, I think this one expires on the 7th. Yes, I can use it with that one and have $20 to spend in the store. Okay, sorry, I forgot this one. So I did get the can of Rustolium from Walmart. Priced at $5.43, $5.92 after tax, and I'm heading home. And it's 103, not bad at all. I knew I could do it. The only stop that I did not anticipate was the CVS, but I'm glad I did stop. I got a lot of items for um, $11, and I was going to lose that care pass and that coupon. So that's it. And another thing I have to do is listen to a viewer that said I need to go back to the GNA Discount Grocery Store that's in Elbertville, Alabama. Yes, it's an hour and 45 minutes away, but probably totally worth it at this point. So that will be my next stop. Okay, and here's the free shelf that I got. Remember I did the food bank haul and we were talking about finding a shelving unit. Well, I found a free one and I haven't even gotten that far yet. So in the next video, I'm going to try to get it, edit it and upload it and show you how I got it and what we're doing with it. So I've already started painting it. This is it when I first got it. Oh my goodness. But the way I got it was really, really good, completely free. So as soon as I get a minute, I will do that and upload it until next time, guys. Thank you. And I'll see you next time.